No, this isn't some sort of in-depth video essay about Master Uguay from the Kung Fu Panda series. I'm talking about the YouTuber. I see him pop up a lot in YouTube shorts these last few years. At first, it, pretty funny, you know, he did the Master Ugwe voice, that's what I remember him as, but then uh, he just kept turning into the same joke over and over again, especially with the YouTube short stuff, and uh, it, it just got old real fast. Here's a quick rundown of his channel, it's, as you can see, clickbaits, a lot of n-words, some music videos, if you don't click on this video, you like men. I've become a what the hell? Okay, all right, yeah, you you get the gist of what's happening here. The thing is, he would take like these TikTok edits, Instagram reel edits, and it's all fine and dandy, uh, has a good message or something, maybe an interesting video, and at the end he just puts the Sigma face. That's one of the jokes he ended up going. I guess because one of the videos did well with lots of views, he just started spamming it. So like this one, about like Sigmas don't waste food. So it shows like people wasting food, then it shows the, a person who looks like he's gonna waste food, but nope, he's actually cooking a meal for people who are less fortunate. Uh, great man, definitely great man. I, I actually know about this person. I looked into him, He's he definitely does a great work, but this short isn't really about him now, is it? It's, there we go. Like, it's not necessary. That's not even content. You're, like, there's no nothing being added there, is what I wanna say. Like, React, React channels have always been in that murky territory where they always get bombarded for you're stealing content. And in the early days of YouTube, yeah, it was pretty much blatant thievery. Like animation would be like reacted to, but like sometimes these channels would have more views than the animator who made it. So that's just not right now, is it? But the thing is, it, it, it keeps going on. Like I, like I said before, he does the same joke over and over again, beats you upside the head, because if it worked one time, I guess he assumes it'll work multiple times. Uh, like here. So you can see here, there's some sort of video, and then he shakes it to show the Sigma face. Same thing here. He does this, and Sigma face. Then here, and it's literally the same thing. Like that, there's no effort in any of this. You just take a video, put it here, and just the same face. It makes no sense. This one doesn't even make any sense at all. I don't even know what, how, what, what Sigma about it. It's a different camera angle. Like, as you could see here, like, the reason why he does it, because the likes, the comments, they're, they get numbers. They get serious numbers, and that's why he'll keep doing it, because it works. It's... It's, true, it's sort of like the guy who was at that E3 convention who did the your breathtaking to Keanu Reeves uh, and then he just took it to his head and started like market marketing, merchandising it all and yeah, except this guy didn't go anywhere with that but Ugwe here, he's definitely made some sort of following. Uh, I don't know how it's probably kids definitely kids <laughs> you'll be surprised how much kids just like subscribe comment on like the smallest things but why am i talking about it it's because quite recently i heard that he apparently quit youtube again and uh, well i was kind of curious Wh what per chance did ha so happen that he uh, quit youtube and then I saw it, his uh, video that got demonetized. Very interesting video there, champ. I wonder why YouTube would uh, not want that up. The guy's clearly lost his mind. You could tell by his tweets that came afterwards. Like this one here, did you know where I'm from the Netherlands? Black pace is a big cultural thing. Like that's his thing. He He's constantly like, trying to make videos about, oh, I'm gonna say the N-word, and he does. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do something racist, and he, he keeps like doing some sort of edgy kind of humor, and the problem is, 
it ain't funny. It, like, if you're gonna take something edgy or dark and try and make a joke out of it, at least make sure it's somewhat funny. Like, it, Filthy Frank and those kind of guys. When I was growing up as a teen, I watched those guys. They were edgy, but at the same time, they were funny. I mean, I can't deny. It could have just been my teenage humor, but still, I thought that was some of the funniest things back then. But here, I I don't know. Uh, maybe some of the teens will grow up and they'll look back at Master Ugo and say, Yeah, that guy definitely was funny. I hope not. I, I really hope not because... It, it just there's no effort like at least with filthy frank in them they made skits and stuff this is just horrible <laughs> but back to the tweets it's like what is this man like he constantly pushes the boundaries of oh oh am i racist oh no i'm not and he does like videos like this where he's talking about of course i'm nice guys would i be a bad guy if i could do this with my cat look He's not even minding it. He's so sweet. He's racist like me. Like, I get it. I get why he does this kind of baiting of, uh, oh, am I racist or any other controversial topic. It's to, like, get engagements. Like, bait in, like, some angry people that leave a comment or dislike because that is seen as engagement by the algorithm. Sucks, but it seems like these days most of the... <laughs> YouTubers and influencer types are trying to get a rise out of people. I don't know, man. I'm just constantly tired. Like, I've been scrolling through his Twitter for research. Uh, the man's unhinged. Definitely um, dealing with some demons. Uh, like, what is this, man? Like, and, th and then it gets worse. Like, some aspects of his Twitter... Somebody's got to get the phone off of him. Like, honestly, what is this? If this man was forgiven, I could be forgiven too. Like, at this point, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I just don't get it. I, I understand why they do it to, like, rage bait. But, like, why would you throw everything away like that? Yeah, I'll never understand these people. Like, what the hell is that? I, <laughs> like, it's, I know, I get it. It's trying to rage me. I, I gotta keep telling myself that. But it's like, what? Because uh, here's the thing. This guy said he quit YouTube seven months ago. I remember it. Like, yeah, uh, there was this article seven months ago. I remember reading it and he said, yeah, I'm, I'm done with YouTube and whatnot. But apparently he came back and then he quit again. It, it, just pumping up all this content, you, it, you don't need to do so much. Like all in all, it, it'll never make sense to constantly try and bait people into being angry with you or making clickbait titles and whatnot or constant amount of YouTube shorts that will get your channel demonetized for reused content. All in all, this guy just keeps doing the same joke over and over again in their shorts and whatnot. Sort of like that one kid who's the class clown or the group who, who said one or two funny jokes that made the entire class laugh maybe even the teacher got involved with the laugh and they went to their heads and now they're just saying the same joke over and over again haha -ha, yeah yeah you remember uh, I, uh, I me make you laugh laugh please please laugh like it, it's just sad really all he had to do was just keep doing the master Uguay voice and not try and incite fights in the comment section. The thing is I got kind of curious and checked his other videos to see what he's got and he's, he makes music videos, really good looking music videos with good edits. I just don't understand why he just doesn't focus on this, you know, instead of uh, whatever those YouTube shorts are. Like, granted his last music video didn't do so good, it got taken down. But, you, you know, it happens. It happens when you get a little quirky with that title. <laughs> Jokes aside, like, if he ever decides to come back, I really hope he just 
gets away from all the rage baiting racist stuff like no one gives a crud really like constantly saying oh am i gonna say the n-word oh oh like come on man like i i get it you're trying to clickbait people and whatnot but like at the end of the day people are just gonna see you as this annoying person well they already do it's too late for that but people also like a redemption arc just saying like clean yourself up get rid of all that dumb content and focus on music or whatever you are passionate about and make something out of that you can go places i know there's bills to pay but like don't lose your dignity come on come on man but yeah at the end of the day i know like some people youtube and twitch and all that is their life that's where they get their money for me thankfully that's not the case i i got a job youtube and twitch is like a hobby side hustle more more of a hobby uh, that i enjoy i i enjoy just making dumb videos it's just seeing this uh implosion is pretty sad really is uh i just never want to be a slave to the algorithm like if I did, if I was like how Master Uguay here was, who just saw one video blow up and just decided to constantly make that kind of content over and over again, I would have probably just been a Gmod channel because of that one Gmod video I made that just whoosh got like six digits of views and I would have just kept pumping that out. But I did it because I like playing other games and talking about different things and just constantly doing other ideas. So. I don't get it. I never will, but I guess I'll just leave it at that. That's all there is.